What is the best intake valve cleaner for a direct injection engine or GDI? Well, I've covered this many times, many videos. You can see I've tested just about every intake valve cleaner there is to man. So I'll give you some ideas of what may be able to help you out. And remember, this isn't a miracle in a can, but it could provide uh, that great preventative maintenance and that's really what the key to success is for this. However, don't forget to use fuel additives. Make sure you check your owner's manual. If you'll check my owner's manual, the 2014 Hyundai Elantra GT, it does state to possibly use top tier gas and also use fuel additives. Yeah, so a manual actually states that. Now, what should you use? How can that even help a direct injection engine? Well, actually, they have injectors inside the combustion chamber. And this can be really hard on fuel injectors, as you can imagine. I mean, people have fuel injector problems in the past, clogged injectors, and so many other problems. And today, half of these uh, magical uh, lifetime fuel filters, and some of them are like a, a large screen, but they're nowhere near as good as an actual fuel filter would be. Now, you can look on my car and see that's exactly the case with this vehicle. So, yeah, it doesn't provide a lot of protection in the long side of the fuel filter issue. But I will say that fuel additives um, can do things that um, you may be able to prevent these problems. So, uh, such cleaners such as a uh, seafoam, are, they're pretty good. Gum out's a really good cleaner, you know, and Lucas fuel injector cleaner, it's really good because I find that it's not really harsh on anything in your vehicles, any of the uh, rubbers or plastics or anything else that you may have on a low pressure side could cause problems or uh, could cause some sort of corrosion, things of that nature. So that is a good one that you can use. Um, as far as the intake valve cleaners, you can use the uh, Lucas uh, Deep Clean uh, GDI Spray Cleaner, that's a good one. Um, you can use the CRC Intake Valve and Turbo Cleaner, that's a pretty good one. Uh, Seafoam seems to be pretty good, um, although I will say that you do have to watch out for some of these products and some of them are just, they're really harsh on some of the materials. You have to understand that even the intakes are plastic and some of these um, chemicals that may have been great in the past. One chemical I like, B12 uh, Chem Tool, it's a really good one, you know, but uh, the issue is it is a little bit more harsh uh, considering it contains um, certain things. Some of these contain alcohol. Now, uh, we can show you the MSDS for B12 and some others, but you need to watch out what you're using. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't use anything. Just always check out the MSDS sheet online. Pretty easy to do. Before you use anything and just keep in mind what you're using in your vehicle for components like the intake um, or any of the fuel lines or anything of that nature as always guys thanks for watching nate's interactive auto and i don't promote any of those products that's why i name a few pick what you like doesn't matter to me